Results 2020 news now coming down to a handful of states hours after the closing of polls across the country. The nation's still not sure who the next president will be. That's because President Trump and Joe Biden are both below the 270 electoral vote threshold needed for victory. So let's get straight over to Mark Lehman. So Mark, where do things stand right now? Well, a lot of swing states are up in the air right now. President Trump is currently leading in states like Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Michigan. The president saying he believes he'll win, and if things stay the way they are, that will be the case. But there are still many ballots to be counted. As votes are still being counted in key states that could secure the election, both presidential campaigns issued opposing messages. This is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. It ain't over till every vote is counted. Every ballot is counted. Former Vice President Joe Biden eyeing states like Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Michigan, where he's currently behind, but thousands of mail-in ballots haven't yet been counted. We could know the results as early as tomorrow morning, but it may take a little longer. But President Trump is confident he'll come out on top, vowing to go to the Supreme Court in those states where ballot counting could take days. So we'll be going to the U.S. Supreme Court. We want all voting to stop. We don't want them to find any ballots at 4 o'clock in the morning and add them to the list. The counting stopping in some states overnight, signaling it could be a while longer before an official winner is declared. We will win this, and we, as far as I'm concerned, we already have won. It's not my place or Donald Trump's place to declare who's won this election. That's the decision of the American people. Now, when it comes to those states in question, Georgia has yet to be called, partly because a water line break delayed counting absentee ballots. Uh, Pennsylvania officials say there are still over a million ballots to be counted. And things are changing by the minute, and we'll keep you updated with those results as they come in. Kirsten. All right, thanks, Mark.